people keep staring at me? So jumping right into this video, if you read the title, then you know why we're here. The first thing I did was I went to Kelly's to grab some tablecloths and markers. Normally I'd go to Home Fabrics for projects like this, but due to their social distancing policy and them only allowing curbside service, and since I really wasn't sure what I was going to need until I saw it, I decided it would be best to go somewhere where they were actually allowing people to enter the store a few at a time, of course. Like I said, I grabbed some tablecloths, the plastic kind in a bunch of colors, purple, pink, yellow, and blue. I only grabbed one of each since I knew it was going to end up being way more than I needed, and I was right. Then I went around the corner, and after a moment of deliberation and referring to my reference photo, I grabbed this pinkish metallic gift wrap, I think it was. And then finally I grabbed a pack of permanent markers to draw the design she has on her shorts. This is the reference image I'm working off of, by the way. Since the jacket was my main focus, I immediately started working on that by taking the pink metallic gift wrap out of the packaging, cutting it in half down the middle, taking one of those halves and refolding it along the seams to make it easier to cut, and then just cutting it, just cutting it up. I did the same exact thing with the tablecloth, starting with the blue, opening it up, cutting it in half, cut that half into another half, fold it, and then cut it some more. And then the same process with the pink, the yellow, and the purple, which for some reason gave me a fair bit of trouble, but I managed to figure it out. I did a similar process with the caution tape you'll see on the jacket later, but I forgot to film it. For the shorts, I just took an old pair of shorts and just cut off the cuffed ends of both legs. Then I took my ruler to make the lines on the shorts neat and the same size and colored those in with a black marker. Once that was done, I took a red marker and drew stars of all sizes all along the sides of the shorts. I didn't really pay too much attention about size or placement, I just drew them. And then it was right back to working on the jacket and all those tassels. So I didn't really have a plan beyond just getting them onto the jacket. So I started out by laying them flat on my little board that I used to craft on. But they kept trying to fly, fly away so I just grabbed them out of the bag and held them in my hand. I didn't have like a specific pattern in mind when taking them out of the bag. But I knew how many colors and materials I used. So I knew I had pink, blue, yellow, and purple tablecloths, the metallic gift wrap, caution tape, and some just random ribbon that I added. So once I had each of them in my hand, I just repeated the process until I felt I had sufficient to start covering a sleeve. After that, I laid the strips as flat as I could get them onto my board and weighted down with my ruler. I took some clear I took some clear packing tape and just taped it down onto the board, overlapping the end so I'd have somewhere to peel it up from. I pressed the tape down, trying to get it as flat as I could, trying to get as many of the tassels to stick as possible, because my next move is going to be to flip it over and to tape the other side together for extra security. Which I do in one move without any of the tassels falling off or sticking to itself. Per just a exactly like that. Perfect. After I taped the sides together, I picked it up and folded along the tape to create a. Um, I don't. I don't even. I don't even know what to call this, but I did it a lot more times, like a lot, a bunch more times. Also, I forgot to mention that I went back to Kelly's and bought this Claire raincoat to be the actual jacket part of this jacket, and then I cut it right along the middle to make it cropped like Harley Quinn's. 
As for adding the tassels to the sleeves, it was pretty simple. I a hot glue gun on the clear tape and glued it down all along the sleeves until they were fully covered. watching if you like this video make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see this cosplay in action you can follow me on tiktok and instagram links to those will be in the description below be sure to leave a comment telling me what videos you would like to see from me i am bored in quarantine so i'll be doing as many as i can and yeah that's it bye <laughs> what you doing <laughs> Oh,